Hey, I'm Carter and I built this van. Actually, six months ago, my wife and I filmed a tour on this channel of our van. And now, six months later, I've built this one and several more. And I'm gonna show you guys what's inside of this baby. Almost exactly one year ago today, my wife and I decided to make the decision to do van life and left our homes, quit our jobs, and spent the last year living on the road. We've been to over 20 national parks over 15 states and we loved it. This is a Ram Promaster 2022. It's a 159 wheelbase with the extended length. So it's pretty spacious inside. We got a full queen bed in the back, full size shower and lots more. I'm Nate Murphy and I have literally just bought this van to show you how to build a van. We have made a really detailed course which will help you go from this to this. You will learn everything you need. We help you specify your electrical system and you'll be able to access a community all building their own vans at the same time. All right, when we were coming up with this design, we had the full size shower in the van, so we wanted to make sure it felt open and that there was a nice big seating area for everybody. So we utilize the front two seats of the van. We have this flip up counter space that you can work from and that you can also use as part of the countertop. Coming over here, we have this adjustable lagoon table. You can take it on or off or move it any which way you like. We have this hidden toe kick drawer right here. You can put laptops, valuables, etc. Underneath this bench right here, we got space for a big laundry basket or whatever else you'd like to store under there. Here we got charging outlets. This is the inverter switch, 120 volt outlet, phone chargers, 12 volt plug, battery monitor, light switch, all right there. This open shelf right here is obviously quite a bit shorter than all the rest so that when you're sitting in the bench, you don't hit your head. So we decided to not put a door on it, keep it open. We got lots of plants in there, um, room to put whatever you want. Yeah nice little aesthetic shelf there right here this is one of my favorite parts of the build we have this huge upright sliding out pantry tons of storage for food towels you could use this as a pantry or a closet really but yeah perfect tons of room for whatever you want 65 inches tall and 20 inches deep On the passenger side of the van, we got a 55 inch countertop with a 15 inch extension that pops up. All right, we have this large sink right here, 16 by 16 by eight. We have hot and cold water here. And on the back side of the galley, we have a table that flips down that you could use as an outside table and also access underneath the sink for emptying the gray water jug. Next to the sink, we have this Impava two burner induction top. Uh, it's 1800 watts, so not a huge draw. And we chose this instead of a regular propane top just to keep everything in the van electric, keep it simple, keep it safe. Next to that, we have some more space of open counter. We got a nice little spice rack here. We got the water gauge to tell how full the tank is, water pump switch, and a charging port right there. Up here, we got some overhead cabinets. They're all on gas struts. This is a perfect place for storing cups, glasses, plates, etc. Under here, we have our Dometic CRX 110 fridge. It's pretty spacious. You could probably store at least a week's worth of food in here. And up top, we also have a little freezer compartment too. Next to that, we have three drawers. Perfect place for silverware, pots, pans, etc. Two big ones down below. Across from the kitchen galley, we have the shower pretty spacious it's 24 by 36 it's inside we use these palisade tiles they're interlocking LVP tiles so rather than using a full-size you know tile ceramics gonna add a lot of weight to the build we went with this instead it gives it a nice finished look without the extra weight in the back we have a 60 gallon fresh water tank so tons of storage and then we also have a two and a half gallon hot water heater. So this shower obviously is on hot and cold water. It's got really good water pressure. In here we have space for a toilet, a cassette toilet. We actually don't have it yet.
All right, the bed is a full-size queen bed. Uh, we went with the raised fixed bed so that we could have tons of storage in the garage underneath. Right here we got large upper cabinets, 16 inches deep for storing clothes, whatever you want in there. They're also on gas struts. And then on this side we decided to leave things open, space for a TV or a picture or just leaving it blank so it feels a little bit more open in here. On the back door we have a sliding window for ventilation and these bump outs allow somebody that's 74 sorry inches here to here and back here we also have a oscillating fan and a reading light in the back of the van we have our electrical system on the driver's side and on the passenger side we have our water system so this is a 60 gallon tank so tons of storage Right here, we have a two and a half gallon hot water heater. Everything's accessible back here, but it's all kind of tucked away and hidden so you don't have to look at it. On top of this, there's about 10 inches between this and the bed. Tons of place to store chairs, whatever you want basically back there. On the other side of the van, we have our electrical system. So here we have 200 amp hours of Battleborne lithium batteries. We have a 3000 watt inverter, a 40 amp charge controller, and a 40 amp onboard DC to DC charger. This system may be small, but it has everything you could need and more to power the induction stove, the hot water heater, chargers, etc. And yeah, it's super simple, super user friendly. It's all can be monitored through an app. And here we have our bed rails. These are from Ikea. They're 10 bucks each. They're super sturdy, super lightweight. I'll never build the bed differently again in a van. This is the perfect way to frame your bed out. Up here we have a five and a half by five and a half foot roof deck, super spacious, perfect for watching the stars. And then we have 400 watts of solar panels here and here, and our Max Air Fan Deluxe right up front. Unfortunately, right now we're not living on the road. We started this new venture called Bonita Vans, building out these custom camper conversions. Thank you guys so much for checking out my van. I hope you liked it. If you're in the market for a custom van conversion, please hit me up. You can hit up my Instagram, Carter Boynton, or our van building page, Bonita Vans. Thank you guys so much, and I hope to see you out there. You may have noticed that you can buy our ebook. Our ebook shows you how to build a van conversion. It has 190 pages of text, diagram, and images showing you various options or various systems. It also comes with 25 videos that show you hands-on how to do many parts of building a van. Also, coming out soon, we have a course. The course releases in December, and if you sign up now, you get early access and a discount. The course is really in depth. It shows you everything from how to use basic tools all the way through to doing your gas, your water, and your electric installation. Not only that, but within the course, we support you hands-on in making your electrical specification. And you get to join a community of like-minded van builders who are building their vans at exactly the same time. Follow the links to find out more, and thanks for watching.